Thank you very much. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to clarify uh, the way results are going in many parts of the country, but particularly for Monze Central and uh, Choma Central constituency, because I'm being bombarded with a lot of calls from colleagues from the media and just generally citizens who are interested to see uh, what this means to say uh, Mwimbu Mwetua uh, you know, lost at provincial level. We want to state that uh, our election, primary electioneering system uh, is made in such a way that there are five stages of elections. You have the words, where all the words uh, you know, vote, and then you have the constituency, you have the district, then you have the province, and finally, the national management will sit and make a final decision as to who becomes a candidate. Now, in respect of myself in Choma Central and, of course, Honorable uh, Muimbu, which has been a source of concern and, to some extent, confusion, I want to state that uh, I have garnered uh, this far 440 votes, and my closest rival, who is uh, Mr. Mulea Jumba, is around uh, 158 votes, followed by Trevor Mwinde with 143 votes. Now, this gentleman with 143 votes against my 440 votes is the one who yesterday, you know, beat me at the provincial uh, conference by two votes. Now, what does this mean? Myself and Honorable Jack Mimbo, of course, we did not attend that assembly for us to be able to canvass votes because myself, like Honorable Mwimbo, on the ground where all the words participated to vote, we won landslide by about 80% or more of the votes at the ward level, at the constituency, and at the district. And when it came to the province, we were consumed by national duty, and I thought that uh, the way that result came out was in such a way that we did not go out there uh, yesterday to canvass for votes, but we accept the result that uh, you know, uh, came out and, uh, in, a, in a party that promulgates democracy. Uh, the one who does a better campaign should be able to get you know, the vote, and from here, we are now proceeding to the national management. But the point to note is this, even if one won at ward level, resoundingly, at constituency, resoundingly, at district, resoundingly, at province, resoundingly, it does not make you a, an automatic candidate in any way, doesn't. The national management reserves the final authority to decide who will be the candidates as councillors, as council chairpersons, as mayors, as members of parliament. And that the, the, the national management of the UPND will soon you know, be able to decide when they convene to look at all the candidates and be able to uh, look at the results from the ward, constituency, district, and, you know, of course, province, do a trends analysis, and also bring in other factors that the lower organs of the party may not have taken into account or consideration in voting the way they voted. So this rests the matter. We are, we are on course. We await the final decision of the NMC. There is no candidate at any level this far, except in those wards, in those districts, in those constituencies, where you have candidates who went unopposed. Those, automatically, they are the candidates for the UPND in the forthcoming general elections of August 2021. Thank you.